to the channel. This is Tori of Tori Unfiltered, formerly of The Update, y'all. Let me tell you something. Last year, I took a major break from my channel, and I missed y'all so much, but I had to take a step back because, honestly, if I'm being for real, I did not know how I felt about continuing to cover Love and Marriage Huntsville. And to be honest, I still don't know how I feel about it because I saw the trailer. Did you guys see the trailer? And apparently, and this is no surprise, the cast is still on their BS very clearly because the way that they dismissed that DV stuff with Martell is just wild. But that's not what this video is about. I want to let you guys know that I'm back and I'm rebranded and I'm better than ever. And so we're while I still will cover love and marriage huntsville it's just going to be on a different level so we're going to talk about trauma bonding healing moving on self-love just a larger topic because the petty drama i don't feel like i can do but i do want to talk about the over or underlying theme of karma in this video y'all know how karma spins the block and i'm wondering if sunny minx is destiny's karma and y'all hop in the comments and let me know if y'all think that sunny minx is definitely destiny's karma because this is what i feel i feel that destiny whatever her last season was on the show she wasn't very much open about sharing her life or her relationship with moses and that's her right to to do or not to do right and so as a result, and I don't know if this played a part in it, she wasn't on the show anymore, right? So now it's hard to show empathy or feel empathy for her when she comes back. And now she's all gung-ho to talk about Moses now that he's married to another woman. Like, you weren't open to, to begin with, with the relationship. Why are you open with the breakup, honey? Just move on for it. It's all petty and childish to me but at the same time y'all this is why i say i wonder if it's destiny's karma because clearly if you watch the trailer for the new season season she and martel were having a conversation and martel kind of made a joke to say that destiny's son's law is looking like uh uncle martel he don't know how that happened they had a good laugh about it and so what it left the doors open to was an insinuation that destiny and martel might have hooked up right which in and of itself just ain't cute and it's it's not funny right because at one point destiny and mel were good friends but as we heard from mel in the clip that she doesn't expect she don't put nothing past destiny right and can you really and truly blame her but for destiny to still cackle with martel after everything he did to her former friend is wild to me and so for you to come back and want some kind of sympathy or empathy about your ex-boyfriend hooking up with someone you thought was a close friend is beyond insane because in fact you and melody as we saw on the show were friends right but you cl you still clinging to Martel and not showing any support for all the negative things that he did to your former friend. But your former friend, so you say, because Sonny Meeks clearly sees it very differently, your former friend hooked up with your ex-boyfriend and you want, you want to feel a ways about it? Is that not hypocritical as hell, y'all? Like, do you see what I'm saying? Drop a comment in below, below in the comments to let me know if you agree with what I'm saying and where we're going here. And I think that if you want to live your life, you have to be true to yourself and other people's feelings too because while you and Mel don't have to be friends anymore after everything that happens with your situation as adults, any of the women on the show should be able to say, I see what he did to you, black woman. I can empathize with that. I'm sorry that happened to you. But instead, that's just the complete opposite of what I'm seeing here. And I just said, I'm, I feel like I can't uh, agree with it, right? I can't get with that. I can't get with the negativity. You don't have to like Melody or anything that she does, right? You, can't, you don't have to support her, but you can look at the situation for what it is and say, that's wrong. 
that's hurtful. That's low down. That's dirty. Anybody can look at that situation and say that. And I would like to speak to, to those ladies and say, you know what? If this were a family member, would you still feel the way that you feel right now? Do you feel that, oh, DV, is it, it's just communication. This is a text message. Would you feel that way? Destiny, now that Sonny Minks and your ex Moses is married, why do you feel a way about it? Because clearly that friendship is not what you thought it was. See, there's a difference, as we have seen season after season, on this show between real life friends and coworkers. And Sonny probably treated you nice as a coworker, as someone she worked with, but she didn't she didn't see you as a friend. That's what I got from the clip, y'all. Y'all let me know. Or even the little sit down where she um she and Moses showed up to Carlos and Melody's event. Um, and that's a whole other situation, y'all. But when they showed up, Sonny clearly didn't feel like her and Destiny were friends on that level to where she felt like she was just outright pursuing Moses, but she felt like just because Moses is Destiny's ex doesn't mean that she can't have a relationship with him because she doesn't need that permission because I don't think that she felt that they were as good of friends as Destiny expressed that she thought that they were. But anyway, y'all let me know in the comments if you feel like Sunny Minx is Destiny's karma for the way that she has treated her former friends. So you have high expectations of your friend's Destiny, but you don't have that same expectation for yourself. Do y'all feel what I'm saying? And so I don't know. Y'all, will y'all be watching the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville? I'll probably be watching it not to necessarily provide like an overview of what happened on the show, but I'll, again, be focusing on the bigger picture of some of the trauma bonds, some of the healing that needs to be done, because clearly there's a lot of healing that needs to be done across the board, right? Self-love and just focusing on your own journey, staying in your lane and just changing your mindset about life, because clearly there's a lot of that going on too with all of the ladies on the cast. And so what bugs me so much about the new season, you guys, is that and not even the new season. It's just what Love and Marriage Huntsville has become because it is a polar difference from what it was supposed to be in season one. Nobody is talking about real estate. Nobody is really talking about love and marriage, right? Because there that's a whole other episode, y'all. If y'all haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe. And I hope y'all are still here because your girl needs y'all to stay right here because I lost monetization on this channel and I need that back. So I wouldn't be mad if you uh, played it twice. You won't have to listen, <laughs> but play it twice. Anyway, you guys, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.